Audi. Today we have decided to uh, treat the GU. We're putting um, new speakers in. <laughs> Already started on, uh, on one side. Remove the door trim. So that door trim comes all the way off. See the clips. A couple of years one here. If it's an older car, you'll probably break it. All the lights. Lights. Cut. This is for the uh, switcheroos to go up and down for the little for these. This is what the original speakers are. These are eight watt speakers. So these are these speakers are, are rubbish. This housing here, this black one that I've got, is actually from the original speaker that was on here. So this is the new aftermarket speaker that we're using, which you would have seen earlier. I was able to line this front cover up after we do a good soldering join. And we go and plug this in. You got the two locators at the top. They'll slide in there. And then as you can see, all the holes line up and it's ready to go. So if you think about changing speakers, make sure that your amp or your head unit's good enough to support the speakers that you want. These are 80 watts, these speakers, so these definitely take a bit more punch. Um, also, the other thing to also consider if you're thinking about getting the speakers is just make sure that the diameter of the the spookers, the spooker is the spookers, because the spookers, the spookers gonna fit in your doors. I just lucked out on this one. I just sort of guess that speakers can't be too bad. The only other thing I need to concern myself with is when I put the door trim back on. We just don't want to sandwich it. I mean, this is the factory bracket and I mean, the other speaker basically flush into that. So there's a little bit of gap that we could potentially have on this little seal here, which is the movement. I think we'll be all right. Cut. <laughs> Cut. Doodly doodly, it is me again. This is the door card from a GE Control, the one that we built. You'll have this little bit of trim on here. It's all clipped in. This also is clipped in with the plug on the bottom. This is where all the, the what do you call them, the glasses. Best thing you can do is, there's a little trim tool. Uh, the bottom, uh, basically, when you get in there, you just pop. So this here is the Slimline sub that I've opted to go for. That's gonna fit behind the seats there the amp that we've got here as well, which is a, it's a Z Power. I actually don't know anything about it. I just remember buying it a few years ago. Cut. Hey, how you going? <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, we're back. <laughs> now I'm running off the Polaris head unit. I actually can't remember any of the stats for it, but these are pretty beefy for this kind of stuff. Um, so there she is right there, that cheeky little devil. There you go. Nice. But anyway, we're going to jump on Spotify and we've just temporarily hooked this mother sucker up. I'm going to see how she, um, how she whistles, if you know what I'm saying. So hopefully she doesn't fall out the door whilst we do this experiment. So let's just grab a song up here quickly. Come. So that was a little teaser. Now it's time to actually hook her up. We're live, we're rolling. Okay, so now we've had our experiment. We are satisfied that the speaker's working. So as you can see, it's just dummy, dummy wired at the moment. Can you see that? There you go. Positive, negative. Number one is we want to make sure the car is off, especially accessories. Make sure your keys are off, that's good enough. Make sure the accessories aren't on because you don't want power to the head unit, which then is power to the speakers. So as long as you got all that off, you shouldn't have any dramas as such. But we're going to do some solder connections now on this little sucker. Whilst we're at it, I've got my uh, Chingu mirrors on the side here, those big boys. You see that? Because this this uh, fancy GU's got electric mirrors. Do a nice little solder boy on them, and then uh, hopefully we'll be able to operate that from the indoor control, so the inside control. So, <coughs> pardon me. Let's give it a go.
This is the plug that's on the factory speakers, so we don't need this anymore. So we're gonna get rid of that plug. If you're gonna get rid of plugs, just make sure you chop them a little bit further up than right on the button, in case you never wanna use them again. But if you wanna sometimes use them in for other things, maybe lights or you know something in the canopy, cut them up a little bit further up. Um, so you can join him to it later on. It's always a good idea to give um, everything a clean up whilst you're in here as well. So I'm just gonna go around with a rag or whatever and just clean this all up. Ching view cables ready and these cables ready. Get the soldering iron out and join all these bastards up. And make sure before you do any soldering, you want to make sure that you've actually got the correct connection. So dummy wire this up to your speaker, positive, negative. It's pretty obvious which one's which. If not, refer to your uh, manual. Right, so this is the door card now for the passenger side. Obviously, this is where your speaker's gonna go in there, so just make sure you fit in there. If you need to do some trimming of the plastic, you can. It's a fair bit of room in the back, though. Damage this either, so be really careful when you pry it off. Um, this part up here, as you can see, it's like a hook. It's not actually a clip. So that sits into your door where the window is, so just be mindful of that. Don't remove that. There's no point whatsoever to do that unless you're replacing it with something else. So. This wiring up here, so this is for the Ching views. So I've already found into my diagrams here which one it is so power mirrors holy fuck i just opened that on the right page yeah so the power mirror is here so if you have a look down here can't see the shadow yeah so we're going to get rid of this plug we'll unchop it from here we'll chop it about up here just so that there's enough room to join into that if we ever want to use this connector one day um, and obviously I'll take the tape of this um, and we're going to connect it so I'll show you the cabling for everything there um, when it's all open and ready but we're going to do the speaker first change that over and then we'll do the Ching view mirrors alrighty I've just done some joins on it now so I'll show you what we got here this is for the elect mirrors so depending on what you got you know these colors will be different here but pretty simple for the for what I've got here is uh, yellow to yellow which is just switching common um, and then you got blue to red and green to purple so that's your your left and right and your up and your up and down or vice versa. So I'm going to wrap this in some electrical tape to keep it even more sealed. Um, the heat shrink obviously seals it as well, but just to keep it extra sealed. Speaker's now been soldered and in there now, so as you can see, it fits in the factory mounts and that's in nice and solid. Tidy this up, some electrical tape, just give it a quick wipe down whilst I'm here. Clean stuff like in here that you can't really get when the trim's on. Check all these as well, make sure they're all good so that you know when you go to slap it back in, they're all ready to go. Yeah, we're going to put it back together.